Okay guys, in this video, I will talk about how to perfectly or how to correctly orient your column when you are designing your concrete structure. Okay, and this video has been inspired by a recent visit to a site which has been occurred with me. Okay, so what happened? I actually recently have visited uh, a site, construction site, where actually G plus three storied concrete building is going on. Okay and almost the fourth floor is yet to be completed now the problem is that the building has this type of column orientation okay you can see here uh, this is the column and all the column has similar cross section that is your 300 by 500 okay and you can see that this is the front side of the building and this is the back side of the building and these are the side of the building okay you can see that along this longitudinal direction the longer side of the column has been placed and along this transverse direction the shorter direction or shorter side of the column has been placed okay and if you look at the elevation it looks like this okay this is the uh, ground level and you can see here that this is the front side and the column section looks like this and this is nothing but 300 and if you look at the building from the side you can see this is the gl okay you can see this 500 face of the column okay and now the point is that this orientation of column here which has been placed within the building has been placed wrongly or you can say has been oriented wrongly now the question is why so this is the topic of today's video how to actually you have to orient your column in your concrete building though this is a very simple but you need to remember this when you are going to design the concrete structure from the next time okay so if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited okay so just consider the current scenario okay so at the current scenario this is the g level and this is the g plus three okay first second third and this roof level or fourth floor is going to be constructed in the next week okay now let's say this building is subjected to a lateral load okay and this lateral load may be due to wind or maybe due to earthquake okay so if this is subjected to lateral load let's say the lateral load is being applied from the left side of the building okay you do not know from which side the wind or earthquake is going to come okay so let's say this is being applied from the left side okay and how this building is going to vf under this lateral load of course it will try to uh, bend or it will try to topple like this okay but if you have sufficient foundation in that case it will not topple rather it will bend or you can say actually this column will bend now consider uh, another case the wind is coming from the front side okay again now this building is also try to topple but as you can see the base is quite wide and also the bending due to this type of lateral load is very nominal because here you can see that this longitudinal direction is quite wide compared to your front side okay so of course the lateral load effect will be severe in this case okay but now tell me in which cases the column has maximum resistance under bending okay so if you consider this column let's say this is the cantilever column and it is fixed as base okay now you are applying some moment due to lateral load like this it will try to bend okay it will try to bend about its minor axis okay and if you consider the bending of this column in this case due to lateral load this column is trying to bend about its major axis so in which case the resistance is maximum of course in this case in this case the resistance of this column is maximum compared to this column orientation but here the lateral load effect is almost negligible due to this huge width okay but here as the width is very small 
the effect of the lateral load is severe so now the point is clear to you that this column need to be strong enough to carry this lateral load not this column okay so now what is the way how you can actually uh, make strong this column okay about this lateral load simply what you have to do you have 300 by 500 column right so instead of facing this 300 towards the front simply face this 500 towards this front and the building will look like this okay so let's make a clear picture this is the actual orientation once i have simply uh, rotated this red column into this green one this is the actual rotation this should be the actual orientation of the column and from the front side you can see that this is 500 and now if you have lateral load i think this column have sufficient strength to cater this lateral load because now this column is going to uh, buckle or this column are going to bend about its major axis right this is the 300 and this is the 500 so now due to this lateral load these columns are going to buckle or bend about its major axis and always the capacity along the major axis is more compared to the minor axis okay so this is the correct orientation you should not place the column like this instead you should place the column like this and if you now look from this side face you will see this is the two 300 face of the column okay and you should not worry about it because the lateral load effect from front side or the lateral load effect for this frame is negligible due to its huge width okay so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it